Hello, we are glad to see you on the Top Football Channel. It is known that love inspires any person, but in football this is not always a good sign. Too much allowance for your girlfriends and wives gives even the coolest players a handful of nightmarish situations that deprive them of fame, friendship, money and even career. Today we will speak about the top 10 players whose careers were ruined by girls. Guys, be sure to watch this video to the end. There you will find an unusual and very funny bonus. Are you ready for enjoyment? Then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Let's begin! Our top 10 is opened by a fresh story with the participation of Manchester City defender and Ukrainian national team Oleksandr Sinchenko. It goes that simple. In August, the wife of the footballer, Vlada Shiglova, also known as Vlada Sidan, publicly criticized the head coach of the citizens, Josep Guardiola, for his wrong tactics chosen for the Champions League quarter-final match against Lyon. Experimenting with tactics in such a match is a complete mess. It's mostly a fault of Guardiola, the girls in Jenko said then. Do you think Man City representatives easily turned a blind eye to this statement? No, they didn't. The very next day, Alexander had to apologize for the words of his wife to the fans, the press and Guardiola himself. As a result, the citizens almost sold Zinchenko in the summer transfer window. They wanted to include the Ukrainian in the deal for Napoli defender Kalidou Koulibaly, but negotiations ruled out. As luck would have it, in addition to Pep's distrust this season, Alexander also suffered injuries. Now the Ukrainian doesn't even get his place on the bench. So we won't be surprised if he becomes the first person Guardiola decides to place on the January transfer list. This is how one statement of a beloved woman can ruin the relationship of a football player with a coach and the fans. Antonio Di Natale, one of the top scorers in Serie A history, also fell victim to his wife's actions. Despite the fact that he was one of their own in Naples, the forward spent his entire career in mediocre clubs. At the end of the 2000s, Napoli constantly tried to lure Antonio out of Udinese, but the footballer's wife didn't want to move to Napoli, and Di Natale refused to put pressure on his beloved one and her family. As a result, Italian goalscorer ended his career without winning a single trophy with the clubs, but if only he moved to Napoli, there would be a chance of winning Scudetto. Making your wife your agent is like making yourself a verdict. It's a pity that the German coach Bernd Schuster didn't understand the matter and followed the lead of his wife Gabriela, who took control of his football affairs. When Bernd played for Barcelona in the 80s, his wife regularly visited the club's management office, coining salary increases for her husband. In addition, Gabriela didn't even consider it impudent giving advice to the coach of the German national team about Schuster and the situation only got worse. In 1988, his wife pressured Bernd and forced him to betray Barcelona by transferring to Real Madrid. But that's not all either. After spending two years with the Merengues, Schuster, again on the advice of Gabi, left for Atletico Madrid and spat on the souls, this time of Real Madrid fans. After such a decision, respect for Bernd as a player finally disappeared. Next in our top 10 is Samir Nasri, whose girlfriend supported so much that he had to pay for a place in the national team. In 2014, a month before the start of the World Cup in Brazil, model and actress Anara Atani lost her temper after figuring out that her boyfriend wasn't included in the squad of the French national team for the tournament. Unable to cope with her emotions, she immediately posted a scandalous text on social networks. Dash it with France and Didier Deschamps, shitty coach. A little later, the Tricola were eliminated from the World Cup and sent back home, and Anara, of course, made a new provocative post. Oops, this is because you needed world-class footballers. Later, Didier Deschamps finally got boiled over it. Tired of Atani's aggressive messages, he finally struck Nasri out of his plans in no matter what shape the midfielder might be. 
Since then, Samir was never again allowed to participate for the national team, and he never said a single bad word about Deschamps. Everything was ruined by his scandalous fiancée. Next in the list is French defender Adil Rami. Yes, the same guy who dated film actress Pamela Anderson. Their union surprised many, but the consequences of this relationship for the player were no less shocking. Even though Anderson is almost 20 years older than Rami, everything was fine between them until 2018. And suddenly, a couple of months later, the footballer won the World Cup in Russia with the French national team. The couple broke up. Pamela immediately explained the situation. For the last two years, he did nothing but lie to me. Adil made me believe that we had great love, but then I found out he was cheating on me. How can you lie to two women at once and control their hearts? I am sure that he cheated on me, not with one woman, but with many others. This is a real hell, wrote the actress on Instagram. It's okay, you say. Everything remains opposite. French journalists quickly hyped the story of Rami and Anderson's separation, making Adil look worse. The media winded up by the fact that once a Frenchman who was then playing at Marseille missed several team trainings, citing family circumstances. The truth was that at the time, Rami and his girlfriend flew to the shooting of the popular game Fort Boyard. Can you imagine? The club found out, a conflict broke out, and the player got sold to the Turkish Championship. Conclusion? Adil is no longer called up to the national team, and Pamela took revenge on him in full amount. Our top five opens with the story of John Terry and Wayne Bridge. Probably everyone knows about their situation, but it would be a mistake not to recall such a scandal. Ten years ago, the idol of English fans, just in a couple of weeks, turned into the most hated player in the country. This is due to Terry's intimate relationship with the wife of his Chelsea and England teammate, Wayne Bridge. Despite the fact that John and Vanessa Perencel tried carefully to hide their romance, the secret always becomes clear. Terry cheated on his wife Tony, and Vanessa had a three-year-old son with Wayne. It was clear from the start that it would end tragically for everyone. But what a nightmare the media made when it turned out that Perencel got pregnant from a friend of her husband and had an abortion. By the way, at the request of John himself. Revealing all the details of their relationship, the media turned against Terry fans, teammates, sponsors, and of course, Bridge himself, who was lied to his face. Terry's reputation suffered greatly. He was left with no captain's armband in the England national team and was mixed with mud in the media in all possible ways. At the same time, no one denies John's great sporting achievements. Moreover, Bridge didn't match up with everything that happened and left for Manchester City, so as not to intersect with his friend who had betrayed him. Wayne didn't succeed there, and he began to wander on loans. It even got to the point that he finished his career in the Championship. A terrible story, after which you can only get your head handed. Fourth place goes to Serbian Los Angeles Galaxy midfielder Aleksandar Katai, whose career has been spoiled by politics and a hot-tempered wife. In June, his wife Tia criticized the mass protests in the United States over the assassination of 46-year-old African-American George Floyd in Minneapolis. It must have been a simple discontent, although Katai's wife stooped to the point that she called people up to kill members of the Black Lives Matter movement. For example, she left the caption, kill the bastards, on the video where the police were passing next to demonstrators. Next, Taya made another publication with a photo of a marauder holding a box of sneakers. Black Nikes matter, she added. After disgusting statements made by Taya, Alexander was doomed. Galaxy immediately terminated the contract with him and demanded that his wife remove those very publications. Yes, it was a very harsh response to a disgusting case. Fair enough, but just one question remained. Was it the player's fault? I am feeling sincerely sorry for the Serb. David Beckham is loved by everyone, but in different ways. Half of the fans admire his style and photography, while the other half misses his performances for Manchester United, Real Madrid and England. Today, 
Bex is a pop star, not a football player. It happened because of his wife, Victoria. Obviously, it was under her influence that David began to change hairstyles and wear fashionable things more often. Later, the girl began to absorb Beckham's football life. They say that in 2003, Victoria was against his transfer to Real Madrid, but a massive contract that the Merengues offered the Englishman made her change her mind. Interestingly enough, after moving to Spain, David decided to say goodbye to his longtime agent and became a client of Victoria's manager. And it might display your own wishing. Yeah. Years passed, and Beckham's wife didn't lose ground. In 2007, Victoria encouraged her husband to transfer to the Los Angeles Galaxy so that he could calmly end his career and earn unbelievable amounts of money. During those days, the great Sir Alex Ferguson, who revealed David's talent at Manchester United, didn't hide his disappointment. David missed the chance to stay as a great player. He preferred the role of celebrity. Having moved to the United States, he chose fame over football, the Scottish coach said. Who knows, maybe without the influence of Victoria, one day Bex would have won the Ballon d'Or. Our list definitely couldn't take its place without mentioning this scandalous couple, Mauro Icardi and his wife Wanda Nara. The beginning of their relationship already caused the most unpleasant emotions. Wanda had a love affair with Mauro, leaving his friend and teammate in Sampdoria, Maxi Lopez, with whom the girl gave birth to three children. The scandal immediately put an end to the friendship of the players. A few months later, Wanda and her children moved in with Icardi, bathed in his love and expensive gifts, which she didn't hesitate to show on social networks in order to anger Lopez. So Icardi had his high time. His business went up because of him moving to Inter and becoming a star there until Wanda became his football agent. The tactics of Mauro's passionate wife were straightforward. She didn't hesitate to blame the management, coaches and players of the Nerazzurri. As a result, Nara turned Icardi into an outcast who had to leave for PSG. We agree this is also not the worst option. But in Paris, Icardi still remains the shadow of Neymar and Mbappe, and not the hero he once was in Italy. Number 1. In Milan, Andrei Shevchenko achieved everything he ever wanted. Scudetto, Champions League, Ballon d'Or. It would seem well. Why deprive yourself of the mentioned gloriousness? The Ukrainian unfortunately didn't ask himself this question and simply satisfied the requirements of his wife, the American model Kristen Pazik, who wanted their son Jordan to grow up and be brought up in an English-speaking environment. An offer from Chelsea in 2006 came in handy. The transfer took place, but what happened next cancelled out Andrei's successes. In England, Shevchenko didn't live up to the hopes of Roman Abramovich and became one of the worst signings in the history of the Premier League, according to journalists. These were terrible times in the legend's career, although everything was fine for his wife. Bonus! Guys, you just ought to hear this story. Here we have a former Galatasaray player, Sadar Aziz. The guy was doing great. He was one of the leaders of the club and was regularly called for the Turkish national team until his wife did one big act of stupidity. By the end of December 2018, Galatasaray was supposed to play a very important match with Sivaspor before leaving for the winter break. But Tukce Aziz, the player's wife, decided to fly away on vacation a little earlier. Sardar didn't resist her wish. The footballer notified the club management about an upset stomach and refused to play. Galatasaray believed him and released the player. And then an epic fail took place. Twelve hours after the end of the match, Aziz's wife posted a photo of her husband on Instagram and marked the Maldives as a geolocation. Then the girl quickly realised her mistake and deleted the post, but the fans already knew the whole truth. Serdar the Deceiver was punished instantly. Galatasaray closed his access to training and mercilessly placed him on the transfer list. The player had no choice but to leave the team in which he was greatly appreciated. Ah, if not for that post. Friends! What other stories do you think would be worth adding to our list? 
Share your suggestions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the Top Football channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the new releases.